Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're sharing our top 10 tips within Microsoft PowerPoint that can help you become better and more efficient at using it. But before we get into that, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first tip that we have for you guys is morphing objects. So if you ever want to create that transition where an object morphs into a different size and position, it's fairly easy to do so. So the first step to do that is to select a slide. We're gonna right click and press duplicate slide. And then we're just gonna click on morph and transitions. Let me make some adjustments to the position and size of this shape right here. And that's all there is to it. So this little tiny rectangle here is morphing into the bigger square in the next slide. So let me hit preview so you guys can see what that looks like. And there we go. All right, so the second tip that we have for you guys is perfectly symmetrical shapes and lines. So we'll go over to the insert tab and I'm gonna click on a shape. Let's go with a triangle. As you can see, when I drag this out, it might be hard to get it to look perfect with those perfect 33 degree angles. And so to get it absolutely perfect and precise, we're gonna hold down the shift key and then we'll start drawing our shape. And it's perfectly symmetrical, which could be very helpful if you want that perfect square, triangle, circle, or whatever shape you're trying to get. Now we can do the same thing when we're rotating it. So we can hold down shift, and we can rotate it by perfect increments of 15 degrees. Again, that's not just limited to shapes, we can use it for lines as well. So if I hold down shift, you can see that's perfectly horizontal, it's perfectly level. If I let it go, it's free, hold down shift, and it's perfect. All right, the third tip that we have for you guys is a countdown timer. So in case your presentation has a break and you want to let people know how long it's gonna be until you get back, you can easily add a countdown timer within PowerPoint. So to do that, we're gonna click over to insert and then we're gonna click on this little get add-ins button. Okay, and then within this, we're just gonna search for timer and then you can add in any of these if you have a preference. I'm just gonna go with one that has good reviews and I actually clicked on break time because I couldn't get the other one to load for some reason. Uh, but anyways, so here we can change the amount of time, we can reshape and place it somewhere else. And then when you present your slideshow, this will be a fully functional countdown timer. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is merge shapes. So I'm gonna click my triangle here, hold shift and click the square. Now I've got two shapes selected and as you can see, I'm automatically brought to the shape format tab. And we have a bunch of options on merging these shapes. So we can just combine them meaning that my transform controls will affect both of them and they're locked together. We could also fragment, intersect, or subtract these shapes. So if I click on union here, you can see it's basically just one shape. If I click combine, same thing. Or for another example, I'll click, I'm gonna move this in a little bit, re-click it, and we're gonna try subtract. So if you're ever creating a visual demonstration of something and you need to customize or edit some different shapes, merge shapes is a great tool to be able to do that. All right, and for the next tip, we're headed back to the insert tab, and then I'm gonna click on pictures. And as you can see, we have an option for stock images. So without ever having to browse the web, we could pick and choose from a variety of different stock images. We could search for specific things. So this can definitely speed up your workflow. Now, tip number seven is removing the background from a photo. You can do this all within PowerPoint. And to do that, we're gonna go into the picture format tab, and then we're gonna click this button all the way on the left that says remove background. Now, it did a pretty good job, but it's removing a part of the people's arms in this photo that I don't want it to remove. I'm gonna click this little pencil icon next to mark areas to keep. And you can see I'm just slowly chipping away at that little pink outline. I'm gonna keep editing this until it looks good. You could do the same thing for removing areas, like if it didn't pick up something that you want gone. We're just clicking and dragging with this little pencil to remove these purple areas. All right, and that is close enough. So we're gonna press on keep changes over here. And just like that, the background is removed from this image and it looks pretty good. Now for the next tip, let's say I want to crop this. I want it to be in a circle. I can double click on this. You can see that format picture comes up over here. And then all the way on the last one, we can click on crop. So in order to crop this, I'm gonna click the drop down arrow next to crop. <clears throat> Again, we're still in that picture format tab. And then I'll just click on crop until I'm satisfied with how this looks. Now it looks pretty good. So I'll click the crop button again and it's gonna save my progress right there. All right, tip number eight is aligning objects. So if I select all of these objects, I'll hold shift, click 
click down all four. And then we're gonna click over to the shape format tab. And I've got some alignment options here. So I'll drop down on this. I want them to be perfectly spaced out and all level with each other. So we're gonna click align top and then I'll do it again. And we're gonna click distribute horizontally. And they're all perfectly spaced and lined up now. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is using layers within your selection pane to easily change the placements of your objects within a slide. So to do this on Windows, you'll click to the Home tab and you'll see a button called Select, and then you'll click that and press Selection Pane, which is gonna bring up a little box of layers. You can drag the layers on top of each other or beneath each other to change this format. On Mac, we're right-clicking on this little box right here. We're gonna press Reorder Objects. And this is kind of our selection pane. So we can drag this and move it here or drag this and move it on top, however you need to do it. It makes it really simple and you don't have to kind of click stuff out of the way to reorder it. All right, and the last tip that we have for you guys is quickly duplicating objects. So instead of right clicking and copying and pasting, all we have to do is on Windows hold control. On Mac, we're holding the option key. So hold that down, click and drag. And as you can see, I'm very quickly duplicating these rectangles. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or video topics that you want us to cover, drop those in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested in picking up your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.